Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Listen, I owe y'all an apology. I don't know why I keep missing episodes of Mother Freaking Teen Mom, but I am now behind two episodes, and I promise to be back on track after this week, okay? Anyway, guys, let's just go ahead and get into this recap. I'm really sorry, but little Tracy will be doing this recap, and I will be back on camera next week for the newest episode. For episode number 10, I will be on camera again. All right, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me now. All right, so we're on season two, episode number eight, and the name of the episode is Don't Test Me. Jade is feeling very anxious about Chloe's first day of school to distract herself. She said that she kept busy with work, and Sean is happy that Chloe is attending a new school as well since homeschooling was very stressful for them. Jade is concerned about Sean's ongoing struggle to find a job of a job. She says career, but it's really a job. Okay. I told you guys, I told you guys, this man cannot hold down a job. And she's talking about, especially now that they're married, girl, I would have never married a man who did not have a career. That's your first mistake. All right. But anyway, Jade encourages Sean to explore looking into trades, into schooling, something. All right. She suggests home inspection, or she says that he has construction experience, and maybe that can be something he can make into his own like business. Sean agrees to look into classes. Chloe had a successful first day at school. Sean signs up for classes, and Jade, you know, is making sure that he's going to be committed, and he says that he will be. So Cheyenne tells Zayna the story of how she took the kids to a play place and one of the children called Ryder a racial slur and she's considering involving Corey and Zach and having a conversation about race and how to talk to the children about situations that may arise throughout their lifetime regarding race. So Corey visits Cheyenne and they talk about the importance of addressing racism with the children. Corey reflects on his experiences growing up while he said his dad would not react very good when situations would arise negatively about race regarding him. And he grew up with a white mother who didn't discuss race at all, which is just like, really? But if you have a child that's half black... And, and you want to sit there and, and be like, color doesn't matter. Color do it does matter. It does matter. It does matter. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm yelling. I see the red on my freaking mic. But it does matter. It is important. Ignoring stuff isn't going to make it go away. All right. So anyway, Cheyenne says that she had open conversations about race with her parents. They were very pro-black in her household. And so Corey and Cheyenne both agree on the importance of teaching Ryder about race and plan to use resources from an organization called Color of Change. So the group has a call with the Color of Change Foundation. The young lady who's leading it, leading this call, her name is Brittany, and it's to learn how to discuss race with the children. So Cheyenne explains a writer's recent experience and Brittany advises Cheyenne to start with books and conversation. Taylor expresses uncertainty about handling conversations because of her race. And Brittany reassures her that, look, you know, you can easily say, you know, I really don't. I can't exactly understand what you mean, but I understand what you're saying. And just to show her support and empathy. So Cheyenne orders the book for writer and she reads it to her and she wants her to be empowered by the things that she reads in the book and writer really enjoys the book and this is the book so victoria who is leah's sister for those of you who are new to the team mom uh craze good grief you're late but anyway victoria visits leah to discuss the custody situation with jeremy and Leah shares that Addie is struggling because she feels left out. First of all, she's struggling with that situation with the um, legal situation where Leah had to go and get that restraining order against her dad. So she's struggling with that. And then on top of that, now Addie is feeling left out when her twin sisters visit their dad, Corey. And Leah says Jeremy hasn't attended any of Addie's school events for two years while Addie's over here watching Corey be at all of the twins. You know, Leah believes that therapy really could help Addie express her feelings and Victoria agrees. Leah talks to Addie about her feelings and she acknowledges that Addie wants to go with 
her sisters when they go visit their dad because they always have fun stories is what Addie says when they come back they always have something fun to talk about and you know she wants to see what they do over there Leah suggests that they can explore that in the future just not right now and she feels that it's going to be important for her to be able to express her feelings and asks Addie if she would be okay going into counseling and Addie actually agrees so later Leah meets with her friend Nicole and shares that Jeremy actually is refusing to sign the consent for Addie to receive counseling. Jer Jeremy, you really you really have problems right now. I mean, you may not be on camera a lot, but we can see that you have problems. There's something definitely wrong with you. I believe this alcoholism is one and an a-holeism is another. That's what I really believe, okay? Anyway, Leah wants Addie to have a safe space to express her emotions freely, but right now her hands are tied, so she's gonna have to contact her family lawyer and I just don't even understand what the hell Jeremy's thinking, but you know what? It, it'll work out for Leah in the end. It always does. Macy is offered a job as the head wrestling coach at a girl's high school. And while honored, she wants to consider the impact on her family before deciding. And at Jade and Maverick's wrestling competition, Maverick loses and becomes a little upset. But after that, Taylor tries to have a conversation with her and she shuts him down. Taylor felt that Macy wasn't listening to him and Macy admitted that she was overwhelmed, promised to work on her communication and appreciated that they were having that conversation, which was productive, which for me says that y'all have a lot of non-productive conversations. Got to read between the lines. Got to read between the lines. Aaliyah. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Macy discusses this job offer with her mom, Sharon, who I haven't seen in a million years. I really did have to look up her name because it's been a while. OK, anyway, after all this conversation about this wrestling coach thing, in the end, Macy says that it wasn't her time to do that because she wanted to focus on her marriage and her children and herself as a person. So she's going to decline the job offer. So Janelle is contemplating moving to Las Vegas for a fresh start, but she's worried about how David will react. She says that she has a court date to obtain a restraining order against him, and she is planning to move with her children. Janelle explores houses with her new partner, August. Is August going to be in every freaking scene? I wanted Janelle back. I didn't ask you to give me some new man. Like every time I've ever had to recap Teen Mom with Janelle, she always has a new freaking man. It's so extremely annoying. So Janelle decides to sign the lease in Vegas. She's saying that she doesn't want to buy a house necessarily right now. She wants to check out Vegas for a couple of years before she decides to plant herself with a house. Now back in North Carolina, Janelle feels unsafe due to David's presence and she's anxious about the court case. So the restraining order with Janelle and David was put in place for six months and she feels relieved she's here talking to brianna on video chat and she's telling brianna about the fact that she signed the lease she has the keys and she's moving to vegas and janelle is looking forward to a new beginning with her children all right guys um i cannot believe how quickly i did this recap i did it a little differently on the creation side i'm not telling my mother freaking secrets okay but anyway Episode 9 will be posted later tonight. And if not tonight, I promise it will be posted by tomorrow. We will be caught up, like I said in the beginning of this video, we will be caught up for the next brand new episode of Teen Mom Next Chapter. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.